males live shorter lives than females? It's not fair, Mother Nature! On second thought, we get periods from hell, so maybe it all evens out. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. If you didn't know better, you might think that Mother Nature had it out for the dudes. In every age group and in nearly every country in the world, females consistently outlive males. Here in the US, women live five to 10 years longer on average. So the pattern starts even before birth. Strangely, male fetuses are more likely to be miscarried than female fetuses. Male infants prematurely die more often than female infants. The baby sex is actually an even better predictor of a preemie baby's survival than birth weight. Male deaths spike by the time they reach adolescence and the pattern continues throughout the Middle Ages and into seniority. Now the cherry on the cake, it's like Mother Nature knows what's coming and tries to compensate for all the craziness from the beginning. There are anywhere from 107 to 170 boys conceived for every 100 girls. The big question, of course, is why? Is there something about being a male that dooms you to a shorter existence? Is there something about being female that grants you survival strength? Let's look at some of the main theories. One comes from the animal kingdom. Males are bigger on average, and in many species in the wild, including other primates and mammals, the largest of the species tend to live a shorter life, while the smallest live on. Another theory is that females do the child barren, so their bodies come with some hefty equipment that may offer some protection against disease, pain, and stress, which, yes, can make you sick and or kill you. Another perspective, men go to war, they do more hard labor, they're more likely to engage in risky behaviors that can lead to death, and they commit suicide more often. So this could account for the spike in male fatality that we see as males become young adults. However, it doesn't account for the fact that this pattern is seen across the globe and before they're born. There is another theory though, a very interesting theory, Testosterone. Males and females both have testosterone, but males have more of it. Could testosterone be a part of the puzzle? A new study suggests that it's a possibility. The American Medical Association has found that middle-aged men, testosterone treatment was tied to a 29% increased risk of heart attack, stroke, and death. So this is a little alarming. The number of men on testosterone treatment has gone up and up and up in the past couple of decades. Researchers have found that it's being handed out a bit like candy with prescriptions going to men without any real medical need. And that's not good because we don't really know what long-term use of testosterone treatment can do to your body. For all we know, it's playing a role in living a shorter life. So thanks for joining me for DNews, folks. What theory do you think sounds the strongest? Let me know down below or on our DNews Facebook page. And we'll see you again soon with more science updates.